we need to begin to cultivate a heart for others rather than ourselves, ancient shiny ones. Okay? It's paramount in these last days. The love of the great body has turned cold except for the 144. We are on fire. Okay? And we have to ignite the eighth one. Okay? For some reason, I'm bringing up the 144, so you guys need to go to my beloved Radiant Blessed Divine One channel and subscribe. Begin applying those videos towards your life. If you can get through those videos and apply them towards your life, you are more than likely one of the 144. Even if you're not, it doesn't matter. What matters is we begin to light the eighth fire, okay? And definitely Rainbow Warriors and All Beings of Pure White Light are a part of it. They are a huge aspect and part of it, right? The 144 has just been through freaking hell and back insanely. Like, m multiply normal hell for people times 100 and then add 20 more pounds to it and then say they come through that pure, okay? And they have to be the leaders of the leaders. That's just, that's the difference between the 144 and others is, is just they have had to remain pure through all of it okay and they are teachers way makers showers and they're real they're not fake they're not fronting they're not pretending they really are out here making a difference okay and it's not for themselves it's for others okay um now we're going to get some birdkin messages cleansing the depths of any and all negative energy. Only beings of the purest, widest light may seal this reading and give me advice. Seal this reading now in Yeshua's name. For those of you that don't know, um, I have seven other channels, so go and scope those. Like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, the peacock feather is significant to some of you. All right, number 18 is significant. Curate your experience as a human in such a miraculous way that it nourishes you to serve the outside world. Believe in the idea that the supernatural happens every day because it does. It does. I'm living proof. Just wait till my biography comes out. You guys are going to be like, no way. There's no way that's true. And guess what it is? It is, baby. Because I'm living proof that God exists. All right. So believe in the idea that the supernatural happens every day. What will happen for you is not what is aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> But the pure magic that comes with getting what you genuinely need. Yeah. You don't always get what you want. You don't always get what you want. But if you try it sometimes, you just my mind. You get what you need. <laughs> okay. That song means something to somebody? A foreign interaction may be the shift of perspective needed. Be receptive to this meeting. The chance for a new understanding will be... Oh, wrong one. Sorry. The peacock is offering a mystic experience, helping you to journey into authenticity. So some of you watching may be mystics. Okay. All right. So we have Junko. The people who once provided support might change at this time, in this moment. Honor the role of each person and the habits that shaped your life story. Do not be attached to the memories and storylines of the past. The narrative in your mind is like a wilting plant, ready to be removed or revived in a new form. Okay, so some of you may be going through some transitional um, that have to do with your root chakra. 
right? You may be dealing with some security from loved ones that, you know, maybe aren't there for you anymore. Say, so that's okay. Deuces. <laughs> Tell them, I got God and that's all I need. When all I need is all I No, I don't need no one else. <laughs> don't even want to hear your bullhock. You better go get someone else. <laughs> Okay, 16, Blue Jay. So remaining gentle in a judgmental world can be challenging. Remember what I was saying, you guys, um, when you're open and you're vulnerable and people stab you, your first reaction is to close up um, and, you know, not let anyone do that to you again, right? That's why the love of the great body has turned cold. Okay, we have to be willing to be open. We have to be willing to make sacrifices. We have to be willing to be hurt. Okay? I mean, use your common sense. All right? Obviously, you know, we're not just going to run around and let people destroy us, but at the same time, you have to be willing to be vulnerable in order for anything in this world to change all right everybody has the intuitive ability guiding them to and from the right people places and jobs don't be quick to label experiences and dynamics as bad every interaction is a learning experience treat it as so and move on softness is a strength and a protective factor when used with awareness Okay. So stay soft, stay open, stay vulnerable. You are in charge and you are the storm. People don't know what to do with people who love them anyway. That's why Christ was so effective on earth because he loved them anyway. You understand? That the shadow's whole job is to turn people cold and keep them from being open and vulnerable. That's why we have to be open and vulnerable. We have to be willing, ancient shining ones. And that doesn't mean, you know, that you have to be, just use your common sense. You know, if you know that someone isn't mature enough to understand what they're doing to you, but you know that one day they're gonna go, they're gonna have an aha moment, they're going to look back and they're going to be like, oh my gosh, they were so good and so kind to me and all I did was crap on them. Then keep being good to this person. And when Abba tells you to close the door, close the door. You understand what I'm saying? I hope I'm making sense. I feel like I'm not making sense. Okay, today will be a dang fine day. Bump, 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 ba -dump, bump, ba -dump. Yeah, regardless, it don't matter. Today is going to be a good day, okay? Today is going to be a good day, ancient shiny ones. And that needs to be your motto every day, baby. Justice is yours because you have a pure heart, ancient shiny ones. It doesn't matter what people do, it doesn't matter what they say. You're winning. Period. We got to quit looking at it from an earthly perspective. Take off your earth hat and look at it from Abba's perspective. Look at it from a universal perspective. Look at it from outside the earth. Look at it from a spiritual perspective. Wisdom keeper. Great wisdom keeper who is watching me right now. Okay? We have to look at it from that perspective. Who benefits if I sacrifice? 
the world. If we all sacrificed a little bit at a time, guess what? Guess what would happen? Some of you may be relocating or you have already relocated. This is confirmation for you. Yeah, nourishment and transformation. The Holy Spirit is with you. Okay, a dove, a well, a scarab beetle, a gazelle may be significant to some of you. Your stability and security, you're anchored in God, ancient shining ones. And that's where we need to be, rooted and grounded. Ain't no valley high, ain't no river low, ain't no mountain high enough, baby. Because you belong to the great I am. And naked you came into the world, naked you will leave it. So we must be willing to be good to others, even when they are unkind to us. Okay? Because one day they're going to look back and feel ashamed. One day you're going to be the catalyst. You're going to be the person that changes this other person. You're going to be that turning point where they're like, oh my gosh. I was so awful to them, and they only meant me well. Like, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys.